Hey, what's up? Chef Jesse here. How are you guys doing today? Anyway, folks, today we're doing uh, fish and chips. And I'm using this fish here that I am defrosting. These are the pieces of chick of chicken, uh, fish, which are cooling off in my, my defroster tray here. I am going to make a batter. And I am using... Yes, I'm cheating. I'm making a McCormick fish and chip seafood batter mix. Here it goes. Okay. So, it's not my own batter. This is a batter that I bought. So, I'm going to put the batter in here. Let's show you how it, hopefully this comes out. The first time I'm using this batter. So, there we go. Let me get something to whisk that. I got a whisker here. This is a great whisker. This thing turns around and it's like, whoop. It's like... Whoop, okay. Okay, and I add the water to the well, well first of all you have to break it down. Okay, there you go. Add the water to it, two-thirds cup of water. Very simple. Start to mix the batter. Okay, there we go. And the batter looks pretty looks pretty thick. Uh, looks pretty thick, so. Uh, I'm gonna have to make some. Okay, so this is thickening up now. I'm gonna add some more water to it because it looks like it needs more water. There we go. And then we're gonna start to mix it, okay? Okay, so. Okay, so I am mixing my batter. I got my batter finally. Here we go. It's, uh, okay. I got the batter mixed in the bowl. And I'm going to start putting my fish, dipping my fish in it. And hopefully this will work out. Like I said, I've never used this mix. Last time I made it, I used a, I made my own mix. But today I want to get lazy and I want to try this. And like I said, it's uh, it's called Fish and Chips by McCormick. Golden Dip. So, I don't know. So we'll see what we'll see how it works out. Okay. So, here I am, mixing it. It looks a little bit thick. I'm going to try I'm going to put in my first piece of, of uh, fish in there. And see how it comes out. If not, we'll mix it up some more. Okay, so let's get... Get some thongs. And let's dip our first piece and see how how it looks. Okay. Okay, so you dip it in there. You let all the SX, there you go, excessive mixture run off. Okay, I, I would dip it in again. And then, there we go. Okay. So let that run off a bit. Shake it off. And I'm I'm using a tray with a uh, parchment paper to lay it down. Okay. And then I'm gonna start dipping. It looks pretty good. It looks like it will do. So let me get my other piece, my next piece of fish, and dip it in there. And okay, let it drip. And dip it again. Two dips. And then there you go. Now I'm putting, it tells you to put it in oil and fry it. I'm going to use the air fryer for this. Because I think, I think it's better. It's healthier, definitely. We'll see what happens. Okay, for my fries, I'm going to do my fries. I'll show you right now. I'm going to do my fries, my fish and chips, right? So I'm taking potatoes. And I'm cutting them alongside, and like that. And I'm cutting, I'm not peeling them, I'm keeping the skin on. I'm making them long waves like this. And this is what I'm gonna, that's where they come out like, okay? Now, so, bear with me a minute here. Let me cut those a little bit bigger. A little bigger than that, there you go, okay. 
So one big fries. Yeah, okay. So this is a little bit okay, okay? So this is what we're gonna look for. This is what we're looking for. Okay. Okay. There we go. Okay. And we're gonna continue cutting the other side. There we go. Down in wedges. Like so. With the skin on. Then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with those. So folks, I have a change of plan. I'm going to fry this fish. Because I don't want to mess it up. I don't trust it too much in the air fryer. So I'm going to use, I'm going to fry it, stove top. But I am using safflower oil. Okay, I checked. It's good for frying. It's very healthy. It's got, uh, well, I'm not going to read it. It's got zero uh, sodium. It's Everything is zero, actually. Zero sodium, zero cholesterol, zero carbohydrates, zero protein. Uh, it's got only six grams of uh, saturated fat, one gram. Uh, you know, it, it's good. Safflower oil, okay? This is the first time I am using safflower oil in my life. So bear with me because I, oh, it blew up all over the place. And uh, I've never, you know, like I said, I've never, I'm not too familiar with this oil. It's odorless. I don't smell nothing. I'm putting it into my pan. It's very expensive. This little bottle, I think, cost me like eight bucks. But again, oil is expensive. And I think I'm gonna use all the whole bottle because, well, almost the whole bottle. And uh, safflower, safflower oil. Product from California. Here we go. It's uh, high in omega-9, high heat cookie. Okay, it says it right here. High heat cookie, so you can use it for frying. There you go, okay. So I'm gonna start warming up my my pan here. My I'm using a cast iron skillet so it could hold the temperature and not ruin the oil. And I'm gonna start. I did my French fries already. I just put my my fries here with the skins. There you go, like this wedges. I'm gonna put a little bit of. I'm gonna dip them. I'm gonna put some water in it with a little bit of salt, and uh, we'll get back to you.